Hi students welcome back in our previous lecture we have learned about physical nature of matter in that we have discussed matter is made up of particles in this video we are going to learn characteristics of particles of matter if you haven't watched that video i'll provide link in description go to description watch that video and come back to learn characteristics of particles of matter we are in chapter matter in our surrounding this is your lecture 2 this is second topic in your chapter that is characteristics of particles of matter so for particles there are mainly three characteristics in this video we are going to see all these three characteristics in that first particles of matter have space between them number 2 particles of matter are continuously moving number 3 particles of matter attract each other let us discuss each of these in detail number 1 particles of matter have space between them let us take one beaker and add some amount of water to it after adding water add one spoon of salt or sugar with the help of stirrer or glass rod or spoon try to mix it what happens what do you observe does water level increase in the beaker your answer is absolutely no here the question why there is no increase in level of water this is the reason particles of one type of matter get into the space between particles of other here we are adding water to salt or you can add salt to water salt mixes with water and all those salt particles will be entering into the spaces between water molecules so this shows that there is enough space between particles of matter you can observe this diagram in that first diagram you can observe red color particles those are salt particles add some amount of water to it water is represented with blue color in the third diagram you can observe all those particles are mixed here all those red color particles are inside blue color particles here you can say particles of matter have space between them so if you mix salt and water it will be like this you can observe all those particles are mixed so this is the conclusion you can get particles of matter have lot of space between them by this what conclusion we can draw matter is made up of small particles these particles have small spaces between them and these spaces are invisible to our naked eye and particles of other matter can get between these spaces without increase in volume so that there is no increase in the volume of water where you have mixed salt in that well moving to next concept particles of matter are continuously moving put an incense stick in the corner of your class so how close do you have to go near to it as to get it smell now try to lit that incense stick so after litting what you can observe if you stand to the other corner of your room automatically you can get smell of that incense stick you can try this by using perfume or spray so try to take one perfume go near to the one corner of your room try to spray it and go to the other corner after 30 to 40 seconds automatically you can get smell of that perfume by this you can say particles of matter are continuously moving from one place to another place here we need to learn few more points regarding that one 
particles present in the matter always move continuously and when particles are moving all those particles will have kinetic energy kinetic energy depends on temperature by this what we can say if temperature increases automatically kinetic energy also increases we have beautiful explanation for that you take biryani and an ice cream keep those two items far from you and try to stand 1 meter behind that one so which smell would you get first yeah of course biryani smell you would get first and if you want to smell ice cream you need to go to it so by this what we can say biryani will be hot when it is hot automatically kinetic energy will be more such that you would get smell of that hot sizzling food faster compared to cool objects next particles of matter attracts each other you take iron nail a piece of chalk and a rubber band try breaking them by hammering cutting or stretching in which of the above three substances do you think the particles are held together with a greater force or which substance will be hard to break can you guess the answer yeah answer is iron nail it will be very hard to break so by this what conclusion we can draw particles of matter have force acting between them this force keeps the particles together and the strength of this force of attraction varies from one kind of matter to another means if you observe third point the strength of this force of attraction varies from one kind of matter to another so by this you can understand some objects will be strong and some objects will be weak why it will be strong and weak that depends on strength of the force in strong objects the attraction force between particles will be greater and in weak objects attraction between particles will be weak in our next video we are going to discuss about diffusion so guys if you like this video just share this video to your friends learn together let us grow together thank you